Hey guys, this is Dodger, and you are watching the second half of Dodge This with Jeff Swenty, who has created 8-bit pixel art out of wood that is just True. awesome. And uh, if you would like to see the first part, you can go ahead and click on Boba, and he will take you there. But otherwise, we were uh, just talking about stuff. I believe we're jawing. We're, we're jawing about stuff. So. <laughs> what would you like to jaw about now? I would love to jaw about, I actually, I'm, I'm curious. Um, do you use the same type of wood and just stain it different colors, or have you used like different types of wood together? I use the same type of wood because it is affordable. <laughs> Cheap, just, yeah, that's pine. what I that's It's what just I pine. Cool. You can get all sorts of wonderfully fancy woods right. that are wonderfully expensive, and I simply, because I cut so much, mm -hmm. I'm like, when I win the lottery, and or discover <laughs> gold pouring out of a well in the back of my home, I will then use fancier woods. Right, I like it. <laughs> That's a good but, plan. But the thing is with the pine, I've gotten to the point where I, I can stain it and I know how it'll turn out. Mm -hmm. So I do that. So that's cool. Because staining is cool. Right. And nice and classy. Staining is so, I love, I love different wood stains. It comes in so many different colors. And... Literally at least six. At least, you know, just so many. I've actually started using colored stains now. Ooh, Reds and orange and greens mm -hmm. and blues. Blue for the uh, black mage from Final Fantasy. Oh, Blue. nice. Pretty good times. Where do you where do you like do you do you cut all this stuff at home or do you have like a, I do it all a friend of the saw? Or? I, I literally I, I have a garage that um, I just do all the stuff in. Every, it's turned into your wood shop. Every single thing in the garage is just absolutely covered in sawdust. Oh god! And it's my lungs. It can't be healthy. Yeah, lungs, I was just gonna say. I cough a lot, but I think that's just from growing old. Right. Yeah. You don't you don't want to blame it on the wood. No. It's not. It can't be. <laughs> it's fine. It's so fine. It's not a big deal. It's so cool. Yeah, but uh, it, it is messy. But <laughs> whatever. Whatever. Are there are there any? Any projects that, I'm sure there are tons of different things you would love to make, but just haven't had the time yet. Yes, that is true. I am going to actually start, um, I recently did a Boba Fett pixel art piece. That is my first painted piece. Ooh. No stains. No stains. No stains. Just paint. Just paint. And so it has got, given me an idea that I should do a series of pieces of Mega Man fighting Mega Man bosses. Ooh. Only the bosses, um, when they get hit by the Mega Blast, uh, I'm going to take their pixels and start ripping them off of them, and I'm going to paint the inside edges blood red, so it looks literally as though Mega Man is blasting bits of the character off. That sounds awesome. That should be pretty good. Is I'm that, pretty excited about that. Is that going to be like your first like full scene? Um, I've done other or... scenes. I've done like a Space Invader scene, a Dig Dug scene. I've got a whole bunch of Mario pieces up at work. Cliff Blazinski for Epic Games actually bought a whole set of Mario stuffers. Oh, office. really? That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, so that was pretty neat. I've done like a Mega Man scene of him fighting, but I haven't done like all the background stuff. The number of blocks of wood to cut are shocking. <laughs> it's so many. You look you look at a pixel art piece, and I've had piece, people literally look at a character and go, oh, what is that, like 50 pieces? And you go, no, that's 780. <laughs> and they're like, oh. Oh, it's, well then. It's just an insane amount of work. Right. But um, I do want to do, oh, by a ah, command, that would be good. Swinging, oh. heroically. But the thing is, you look at a lot of these um, sprites from your childhood, well, my childhood, <laughs> you're so young, that your childhood, you're like, what is Dragon's Lair? Um, what? But you think back to these sprites, you're like, oh wow, I bet you Metroid sprites are amazing. And then you go back and look at them, and they're terrible. <laughs> and you look at them, they're just like... They, they have like, you you feel affection for them though. You do. You associate them with them. But then things. when you make them bigger and look at them, you go, wow, that is a terrible looking thing. <laughs> this was not meant I to be this, this large. I thought this was a good idea. <laughs> this is terrible. Um, so you get that sometimes. Gotcha. All of, all of the stuff, like, looks really cool, though, like when you're holding it next to yourself. You're like, yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, here's the cool thing about this stuff is it directly taps into your love of games and nostalgia. Right. And people of my generation, not yours, because you're so young. So young. Youth. <laughs> um, people my age are now at the point where we have jobs and we see these things from our childhood, and because it's stained wood, I think they look classy, which is yeah. nice. Because normally, if you look at old Nintendo Power magazines, you're like, that's the goofiest thing I've ever seen in my life. It's cute. It's adorable. Uh, I miss Nintendo Power. I know. Um, <laughs> but I think when you see it in stained wood, you go, wow, that's really that's classy. Yeah. I would put that up in my home and have older people go, what is that? And then totally. laugh behind their back. Oh, oh, oh. It's Zelda. <laughs> 
hopefully you realize. How do you not know that that's so um <laughs> so so I, I think it's neat to do characters that when you see me you're like, oh it's adorable. Mm -hmm. Mega Man. Mega Man, of Mega course. Man. Mega Man is wonderful. Mega Man's good. Mega Man exploding his foes. If you have wonderful. ideas for pieces to do, I'm all ears. Are you, are you gonna are you gonna add it to your your list of a lot of the ones that I make that are on the site are people request them to be made for custom oh really uh, orders mm -hmm. and so I go it's a good idea and then I make it and it turns out really cool and I go I should make more of these uh, Ukio from Samurai Showdown the Neo Geo pocket version yeah is phenomenal <laughs> it's phenomenal um, but I would never have thought of making them until someone said, here's some money, make ukiyo. And I'm like, yes, sir. Has anybody ever suggested something where you went, no, I'm not, no, I'm not gonna do that. Um, That's a terrible idea. No, not really, not yet. That's good. Yeah, most people want Mario's and, uh, oh, actually, <laughs> no, one guy, uh, so at work, I have a library mm -hmm. that I'm trying to get people to read. Apparently, young people don't read books. Shenanigans. <laughs> um, but I started a library to get people to read, and so I have um, uh, raffles every other month, and you get to enter the raffle by reading books. And one of the months yeah. I gave away uh, their choice of any pixel art piece they wanted under 500 blocks of wood. And a guy won, uh, a designer, really nice guy at work, and I go, what pixel art piece do you want? And he's like, mm. And he saw all the ones at work, because there's like 30 of them at work. Great. And I go, I can have any one of these, and he goes, what I really want more than anything is a Gradius power-up. And I took a small step back and I went, really? <laughs> and he goes, yep. And I go, all right. That's, that's what I require. So I made a Gradius power-up for him. And he loved it, which is great. Awesome. Not my first choice. <laughs> Actually, not my eighth choice. But. If you had to whittle but. it down to like my 38th choice, Gradius power-up right there. <laughs> Boom. What's your, what's your favorite one that you've made? Probably have to be the, oh, Glass Joe is pretty good. Glass Joe is good. Yeah, if you guys go to the site, there's a whole bunch of stuff on there. Things that aren't on there that have been made are some Zelda things, a Black Mage from Final Fantasy, cool. a Metroid from Metroid, because Samus looks horrible, but Metroids yeah. look cool. True. Sure. Uh, Glass Joe. I think that's all the new ones. I'm Could sure we get the Boba? Oh, Could yes, and, the Boba? and then the Boba Fett, which is not my own design. There's this Ew. guy on the internet um, I forget his name, but he's a really cool, cool guy, and he made 200 Mega Man style sprites of everything from Toy Story to uh, Indiana Jones, oh, crazy. to Matrix, to Gears of War, and they're all made but in the style of Mega Man. And so cool. they did a whole Star Wars series. Are now. they like are they like full on sprite sheets, or are they just like they're like just? It's, he made this one. It's like a sheet like it's big and it's just hovers in hundreds of these characters. One of them was uh, Master Chief from Halo. Oh, cool. And I'm proud to say that uh, Bungie now, no, not Bungie, 343 now has a Mega Man style Master Chief in their offices. Nice. And they're actually, I think they're, they're they might get some other art as well, which is pretty exciting. Yeah, that's pretty that's, cool stuff. That's very cool. Yeah, so it's, it's neat. It's yeah, fun. for sure. As a final question, Mm. What is your favorite color? That's easy. It is green because it is the category of science and technology <laughs> in Trivial Pursuit. Nerdy, you say? <laughs> Nay. No. No, of course not. Yeah. Has awesome. to be green. High five. Green's my favorite color as well. I, oh, dang it. I let you down. Hold on. No, wait. High five. Green's my favorite color as well. Yes. You are so short. You are so <laughs> tiny. Your, your forearm is like a, a popsicle stick. Can we can we measure right now? Yeah, but see you're lifting it up. See, <gasps> boom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. Awesome. Well, thank Shazam. you so much for, thank for you growing up for and the uh, opportunity to let me draw. And we'll definitely uh, link to all of your stuff so you guys can check out his stuff and go to his shop and and see everything that he does because it's all really cool. Um, and you can definitely get a good idea of scale because like I said, he like holds all of them right there and you're like, dude. Thing you don't know is I hire munchkins to hold all of them. Oh, so crud. they're actually really tiny. We've, we've totally been, been clowned just now. Clowned? I think that's a young person saying. <laughs> I wish I was hipper. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Pipe dream. Um, great. Well, 
thank you again. And if you would like to see the first part, there will be a link after this. But otherwise, tune in again for Dodge Fist in the future. Bye!